Hey, what's going on guys? Sneaker fashion news for December week one. We're already in December. Christmas is around the corner. Let's get into it. We got a lot of news to talk about. First up, Salihi Bembry previews the new Crocs Polex sneaker for the spring summer 2024 season. Now, earlier this year, Crocs name Salihi Bembry, the creative director of the Crocs Polex pod. Now, the first photo of the new model showed just the underside of the shoe and it has that rubbery Polex style that we're also used to. Now, it looks to be the first actual shoe from the Crocs Salihi Bembry collaboration and he captioned the photo spring summer 2024. So, it's going to be interesting to see first how the shoe looks and also to see if people are actually gonna buy a sneaker from Crocs but if there is one person that can do it it's probably Salihi Bembry his collabs have consistently sold out comment down below what you guys think Next up, Ugg and Palace joined forces for a patched out Tasman slipper collaboration. And it's going to be coming in in both brown and green suede. And they got a lot of interesting patches on them. Yo, what that duck doing? Now, the shoes are accompanied by matching mittens and a white sheepskin rug form into the Palace's P initials. Pushing P. Now, these released December 1st, so check your resale channels if you want a pair. The Supreme North Face Fall 2023 collection collaboration has dropped it dropped november 30th and this collaboration was all about the suede we got suede parkas suede puffers suede pants suede duffel bags suede shoulder bags suede gloves suede keychains suede weed all right not the weed but that part of the collaboration definitely threw me off a bit but that's supreme i guess next up fear of god athletics has been dropped now three years after announcing the partnership of fear of god and adidas it's finally dropped now this released online december 3rd and it's Got a very simple clean oversized aesthetic and the photography is very biblically inspired it looks nice but i'm kind of scratching my head at the fact that this took three years is she kind of cute three years now what was jerry doing for three years i don't know but i just don't think there's any way that this took three years moving on official images of all three powerpuff girls nike sb dunk lows have been dropped now these are pretty fun we got buttercup bubbles and blossom the eyes on the back kind of tripped me out a bit but it is also like really unique while a release date has not really been confirmed just yet it is expected to be dropping december 14th on the nike sneakers app and at some select skate shops for a price of 135 dollars each the nike lebron 4 anthracite releases next month now this colorway is amazing it looks so nice and clean and it was originally released back in 06 and they're finally being released again on december 12th on the sneakers app for 240 dollars so if you want to cop mark your calendars off-white just dropped it's nike air force one mid grim reaper talk about wavy these dropped for 205 dollars i'm not a huge fan of mids or spikes or the lacing system so there's not much here for me next official images of all three Stussy Nike Air Flight 89 colorways have been released. We got the pecan, the habanero red, and the black colorway. They're all heat. The pecan colorway is the only one thus far though that has been slated for a December 13th drop on the Sneakers app for $160. So the other ones are probably going to drop around that same time. Anthony Edwards' first sneaker shoes, the Adidas AE1, is debuting this month. Is it me or does it kind of look like a soccer cleat? Up top, we got a knit upper that also includes a split tongue design. We have an innovative TPU. The shoe also has more ventilation and it boasts the boost cushioning system. The cream orange colorway is coming out first. Colorway is called with love um edwards is paying tribute to his mother and his grandmother by featuring their favorite colors of peach and pink w edwards honor your mothers the ae1 is set to drop december 16th at adidas for a price of 120 dollars. and lastly we got the weekly drops the nike air max one keep ripping stop slipping released november 28th for a price of 160 dollars the air jordan 6 retro gore-tex brown kelp released november 29th for 250 dollars we got the dremel mischief gobstopper 
which released November 29th for a whopping $350. The Nike Air Max Plus Light Photography Old Royal released November 30th for $175. The Pata New Balance Made in UK 991 V2 CMOS released December 1st for a price of $250. And lastly, the undefeated Nike Air Terra Humera released December 2nd for a price of $170. So that's going to be it for the sneaker fashion news for December week one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.